Are you a gaming enthusiast? We have good news for you. You can turn your interest in gaming into a source of earning for yourself. According to the Global Games Market Report 2021, the gaming industry generated $174.9 billion in revenue in 2020. Moreover, according to Glassdoor, the average annual salary for a game developer in the United States is around $90,000. So, if you are ready to become rich through game development, this video is for you. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so we can teach you more ways to get rich. Now, let's see what you need to do to launch yourself as a game developer. 1. Choose your focus area. No matter what you plan to do, you first need to decide the niche you will be working in. The major areas in game development are augmented reality (AR), virtual reality (VR), console, mobile, and web. A good way to decide which area you'd like to work in would be to check what kinds of games you like to play. Secondly, make sure you are aware of your own areas of strength. Ask yourself what kind of experience you have in programming, art, design, and music. Research what skills are needed for each of the areas in game development and pick something that matches your skill set. For example, AR and VR games would require a developer to have knowledge of 3D animation, while console game development would require you to have knowledge of console-specific hardware and software. Other things that you should look up before you decide what area you'd like to work in include market trends, so you can see which type of game developers earn more, what kind of jobs they are offered, and which companies hire what kind of game developers. 2. Learn programming. If you want to become a game developer without first having a grip on programming, you'll be as successful as a penguin trying to fly. But there's nothing to despair about, learning to code is very easy these days thanks to the internet. You need to have a solid understanding of programming concepts like data structures, algorithms, and object-oriented programming. You can easily find numerous courses online that can teach how to program. Look it up on websites including Coursera, FutureLearn, and Udemy. If you decide your niche first, it will make it easier for you to decide what language you must learn, so you don't waste time picking up extra courses. If you go for web game development, you will have to learn languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, whereas AR or VR games would require someone who is an expert in C++ or C Sharp. Similarly, as a mobile game developer, you will require proficiency in Java, Swift, or C Sharp, and if you choose to be a console game developer, you would need to learn C++ or C Sharp. 3. Select your game engine. Choosing the right game engine is an important decision for any game developer, as it can significantly impact the development process and the end result. Unity and Unreal Engine are two of the most popular game engines used by developers today. Unity is a cross-platform game engine that allows developers to create games for multiple platforms, including mobile devices, PCs, consoles, and more. It offers a wide range of features, including a powerful visual editor, physics engine, and support for 2D and 3D graphics. Unity also has a large community and a vast library of plugins and assets that can help you accelerate your workflow and create more complex games. Unreal Engine, on the other hand, is a game engine developed by Epic Games that is widely used for creating high-end AAA games. It offers a powerful suite of tools for creating 3D games, including advanced graphics and physics systems, a visual scripting system called Blueprint, and a powerful C++ programming interface. Unreal Engine is known for its stunning visuals and is used by many game studios to create some of the most popular games in the industry. Ultimately, the choice of game engine depends on your needs and goals. Both Unity and Unreal Engine have their strengths and weaknesses, and as a developer, you should evaluate your options based on factors such as your target platform, game genre, team size, and budget. 4. Choose your game concept. The last step you need to take before you launch yourself as a game developer is to choose a game concept. What is going to happen in the game you build? Is it a single-player shooting game or a multiplayer football game? Are you considering building an endless running game or a puzzle? If you consider your target audience, your objectives, game mechanics, and the theme and story you'd like to work with, choosing your game concept will become very easy for you. 5. And it's time to get work. 
Start small by creating a small game project that can be completed within a few weeks or months. This will help you build your skills before moving on to more complex projects. To share your skills and experiences and to learn from that of others, join online communities such as forums, Reddit groups, and Discord servers. Secondly, once you start selling your game to different people or platforms, make sure to get some feedback. You can use that feedback to better your game-making skills, and you can also use it as a testimonial to your greatness as a game developer. So, here's game development broken down into 5 simple steps for you. We hope you found this video helpful, and we wish you all the best for your journey as a game developer. Let us know how it goes. Before we say goodbye, do remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so we can help you out by providing you with more tips to become a professional game developer.